Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. I finally made it home from CES, and while I do have quite a few videos to work on, I needed to discuss some news while I was gone. From Nvidia's new 2060KO, Intel releasing information on their first discrete GPU, and Intel's upcoming 10th gen desktop part is an absolute power hog. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first drop made items. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today is a clear attempt to counter AMD's new RX 5600 XT. EVGA announced an upcoming RTX 2060 called the KO Edition. The new series is comprised of two GPUs, and honestly, things aren't all that different from other 2060s except for one thing, price. The 2060 KO Gaming starts at the same $279.99 as the RX 5600 XT, and it's basically a reference 2060. The second GPU is the 2060 KO Ultra Gaming, which comes equipped with higher clocks, and it comes in at $299.99. Basically, that's a whole lot better than other 2060s with prices closer to $350 and up. Ultimately, I'm assuming this is due to Nvidia lowering the price to OEMs in response to AMD's Radeon release, but who knows really. At the end of the day, this further shows the value of competition in the market. Next up for today, it looks like Intel revealed a bit more information about their upcoming discrete GPU. And really quickly, for those who may have been wondering about my take on Intel's CES conference, I've really just been sitting on it because I'm not even sure what to say. Not only did they not release 10th gen desktop CPUs, which I'll get to further in a minute, but they essentially just said this is coming and this is coming, but you know, we don't have anything to actually say on it. It reminded me of the South Park episode where George R. R. Martin kept promising that the dragons would come, but they don't. I mean, Intel did say that Tiger Lake would have double the GPU performance, but it really just felt like they were trying to counter AMD without an actual product. Anyway, there is apparently one thing that they did show off a couple days after their press release, and that is actual images of their first discrete GPU prototype. Plus, WCCF Tech was able to get some real footage of the GPU, and it's officially called DG1, which is what we've been hearing for a little while. Now, I use the word prototype because this isn't really the final product. Instead, it's going out to ISVs so they can ensure it plays nice with other systems. Still, the final design could look pretty similar, and this definitely tells us quite a bit. For one, you can see that it comes with a single fan, so it's clearly not a powerhouse of a GPU. Plus, since it doesn't have any power connectors, it must run off of PCI Express. Basically, most think this is more of a mobile or low-end PC discrete card. Still, it is a big jump for Intel, and there's definitely more on the way, so I hope Intel can keep AMD and Nvidia on their toes. Unfortunately, while Intel's foray into GPUs is exciting, it's becoming increasingly obvious that the company is really getting behind AMD with their current desktop tech, at least when it comes to overall power draw, architecture, etc. Well, if these reports are right, it's worse than we thought. For starters, many of you know that Intel didn't release their 10th gen desktop parts at CES, and according to Computerbase, board partners weren't happy about that since they actually had products ready for it. To top it off, according to Computerbase, the upcoming 10 core 10900K consumes a whopping 300 watts of power at full load. To give you some perspective here, AMD's 32 core Threadripper 3000 only takes up around 290 watts. Of course, don't get me wrong. Intel's ability to stretch their 14 nanometer process so far is incredible, but it's clearly reaching its absolute limits, and coupled with the company's obvious inability to price their CPUs as low as AMD doesn't help much. Basically, things really aren't looking good for Intel in the near future. Hopefully they can make a comeback soon, but it certainly looks like an uphill battle. So while that does it for today, what did you think about Intel's new discrete GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.